together. I'm here with Jesus Luis Nogueira Serrano. Son. Thank you. Join this uh, training morning here with uh, Shidoshi Jordan Augusto. And actually, I'm going to do some questions for us to bring to you some very interesting information about protocols on this dental vision. So, please, listen. I was uh, actually watching your training, okay. and you were performing a very difficult and beautiful movement with a very powerful cut. Yes. Like uh, something like between a suda and, and turning around. Can you? I, I will explain something. Thank you very much, Sir Juliana, for the introduction. Uh, well, what we have seen here, uh, the practice with Sido John and, and I, it uh, concerns a method that is called Kiori no Ho. This Kiori means distance or range. Then it's a method that uh, was believed, that was employed by the Shugonin. Remember that we have been uh, talk, uh, speaking about the, what is Shugonin, Hogosan, all these things on the last Tokubetsu. On this uh, dental vision, uh, what we have seen is about this kiori that uh, was employed by the Sugonin when they believe that they don't have space, they don't have uh, time to react because the other, the, the enemy that is threatening the, the Lord, uh, has uh, cut you in a very, very short distance. Then you need to react without uh, conditions to draw and perform a normal draw. You need to uh, behave in this sort of range of uh, reaction. Then, of course, as we have seen in this Sugonin, also speaking or re uh, regarding when uh, we were in your, in your home, that we don't have space to perform Chiburi and these things, uh, we have in this more a close distance to make their reaction. So this is actually, you have to create a space to enter a powerful cut. Yes, you have to not only create a space, also create conditions because maybe the space is so reduced, you are in a confined space because maybe here we have all the tatami and all the the, the mat to, to train or to do whatever, but maybe we are so close because we have in us uh, at our side we have the, the load and in the other side we have uh, a wall or something like that, show you for example. Then you have to create conditions to be capable to take out, to draw the sword and after that cut in the okay, end. That's a very uh, good point actually for my next question is that uh, I understand that if you are uh, on a meeting or in front of a person that is important, like a lord or something, there is a, another protocol for you to clean the blood of the blade. Yes, because uh, people may think that you can apply the normal chiburi or even a more refined way to clean that is with the paper. But then I understand that we have actually some rules for it. Yeah, of course. Uh, what it happens is that you perform a normal chiburi, uh, maybe the blood could, uh, could uh, be a split and uh, you could. And it's aggressive, uh, yes. It's aggressive, and space. maybe it's not be elegant to do it on the tatami of your lord, or maybe uh, to to throw the blood in, in your lord <laughs> itself. Then it will not be elegant on these kind of meetings. But even the elegant way with the cleaning, yes, with the you paper? have you have several ways. Okay, first of all, what you could do is after you end the cut. You could use your, your index finger and your thumb and using uh, the tips of, the, of, of these fingers you could uh, slide cleaning to, uh, to wiping out what is the blood and what is the, uh, the dirty that it could have the sword in this guy. After this side, of course, you need to clean your... Yes, the paper is on the other side. Okay. If this happens, you could use a paper that it could be inside the sobe and clean it, and after that you uh, you, you put inside do the, the yeah you do the noto. Other way that maybe this is when you try to be humble when you are under the command of the law, but you could see uh, you could be also a mercenary or someone that uh, like again Pisa that we have also explained that maybe it's a way that uh, you need to uh, to show that you have defend the law 
in that situation and give a present as a way to uh, to to demonstrate that you have saved the life of the law that you have accomplished You're your, uh, that you, you fulfill your your goal duty. That you, you, yeah. yeah so in this case you won't use the sheet journal mm -hmm. anymore no you will use a small paper a small paper that it's called nugui gami this nugui means to clean means to uh, to ship then it's a, a wiping cloth too you pass the katana to the left hand you go inside take this uh, paper? this paper that you have inside your wagi your your yukata here your clothes and you use to clean completely from the tsuba to the to the kisaki on that direction after that you uh, wait and after that go inside and after this give a present the, pre the, the kami, the, 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 the paper to the Lord as a, as a, proof, that as a proof that you have fulfilled all your, all your duty. So of course, sir, if you are a person that works for the Lord, it's a bit arrogant. Yes, yeah, of course, Same because it's, uh, it's, uh, this duty is when you are like uh, defending by a one day, you are like a protector, a mercenary for one day. And it's a way to demonstrate that you have fulfilled your duty, but you don't have more duty after that. After okay, that, so you, you have, finish your job. You're finished your, your job in that way. Okay, that's great. Then, and understand also that there are some other protocols with the hands, especially that's yes, right, depending that's right. on the circumstance. Yes. First of all, the most important is to understand how to behave with your sword in front of a lord. If you are, maybe I am going pointing at the camera, the first thing, uh, we have several protocols here. We have the katana, sahata uh, that could wear, uh, could carry the, hag, uh, the katana with you. The first thing that you could do, it's the most uh, uh, honor, the, to, to present your honor to the, to the Lord, it's to, sorry, to take out the sword and put in your right side. Because these don't offer any kind of uh, of course, it's, of it's completely it's, on the opposite side. I, I, it's very difficult for me to draw here. Then I have space, and of course, it's on my right side that it's impossible to offer any kind of uh, threat to the enemy. After this, the 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 next one is when you put. On front of you. So I understand that you're coming from the most respectful one to the last. To the last. Respectful yeah, one. we are going lesser, and after that we will show other. Aggressive. Um, uh, no, other. Uh, at the end we will show something that it's the most respect, respectful one. This one, it's when you are maybe has suspicious. You are suspicious about what could it happen. You are not as. Uh, uh, you don't have all the trust that you have when you are on the right side, but of course, the, 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 the edge is pointing to you. The highest against us, towards us. So this means that uh, we are giving him a chance that maybe we will start a trust relationship. Yes, of meeting. course. And it's different if we have the handle to the left side and that you have the handle to the right side. This is when you are more suspicious, when you believe that it could happen something. That, or maybe you need to draw in any kind of circumstance because maybe the guests are not trustable. You don't can, you cannot trust in them. After that, when you put the blade in front, it's because you I... believe truly that in this something uh, something risky it could happen in any time, uh, and the the attacks will come in any circumstance because from here you are capable to draw in a very fast way and attack. But the most suspicious when you believe truly that it could happen and you need, will need to, to handle the sword is when you are left-sided. Because you don't trust the law, you don't trust anyone. Then you could handle and here and, fast draw. and attack. The most uh, a, a very impor important protocol here is when you give your own uh, weapons to the Kakushin, to the person of trust of the of the Lord. 
and you offer as a way to say, of course, maybe I am capable of uh, carrying this, the, the weapons with me, but in a way to show my trust to the environment, to the, so to the meeting, to the gathering, peace. please take my weapons as a way don't, of to uh, prove that I to prove that you are in a with a peace uh, goal. no aggressive intention yeah no aggressive and after that we have several protocols uh, concerning the hands if we when we uh, when we bow we put the fingertips in front of our knees from here and we bow this way it's a way to show your respect and to offer you as that you are on command of the law under his command under his command if you put at, uh, at the sides of your uh, here of your lap of your your, your legs it means that you are in command of other lord maybe you are uh, some kind of male you are uh, somebody else command some, yeah, yeah sure. somebody else command if you put your fingers maybe doing an angle an angle sorry being close one to the other means that you are in the middle of the both commands in the so other you mean one, that you're working for both of them maybe for the person both of them. who is diplomatic acting to uh, in the interest of both laws yes? that's so right and when you join them it means that you are humbly at the disposition of the Lord of the one that you have in front. And it also means that maybe you can, you accept whatever they the, the, they may offer. The, yes, and the command that it uh, that you will receive in the next point. If you put on your lap here and you go, it's a way to say uh, that uh, thank you very much, but uh, sorry for you cannot accept what is uh, happening. Then so it must you need be to, like horizontal? Yes, and the uh, fingers tips need to be uh, uh, in this in position, a line, in line, aligned. Yes. And from here, line. you bow, and it means that, sorry, but you cannot accept what is happening or what it's offering to you, offered to you. After that, uh, only to end, I would like also uh, to end after these protocols to remark something that is also very important from this uh, sequence of the kata, or the, sorry, of the whole of the method that we have seen, this kyori, uh, that it's, uh, you could see some uh, classical cuts that you are cutting deeply with your sword and your legs uh, remain are 50% uh, if you are and they are aligned and in a perpendicular line with the cat. This is called Bayogiri. It's, bayo, it's like the, the horseman uh, cat. Because you need to cut, uh, uh, I'm trying to cut completely the yoro, completely the, uh, maybe the armor that uh, the enemy is it's wearing. Then for this was very common in the past, in the, by the ancient, to perform some kind of uh, competitions in order to uh, go deep with the cut and they measure how... The extension of the cut. The extension of the cut on a tatami. Remember that the ancient tatami was an amount of straw. Like a tatami mote? Yeah. And they want to go deep how, uh, how much uh, they could go uh, with that cut. And was a typical competition how to perform. Oh, you, have, you need a really strong legs to do that. So I understand, yeah. of course, that's some old exercise we don't use anymore. Of course. You could see also uh, applying this kind of uh, starting from Seisa position uh, or Shiko position and going up and cut on several directions. Motoshima Sensei used to explain that uh, these need to be performed on the eight directions. I mean, the, like the four point. cardinal, me, uh, the, the, the main direction, north, south, uh, east, and, uh, and west, and also the, the diagonal line. Like a hapogiri. Like a hapogiri. hapogiri study. You need to cut in several directions, but today we are not training it anymore because these, if you repeat a lot, uh, this could cause injury to the knees, injury maybe to the ankle, then you need to, to be careful with that. But 
the origins of that, uh, of that technique was to, to perform in this A direction. Then this is... Thank you very one. much. Thank Thanks you for your information. And I hope you enjoy all those uh, curiosities that we are bringing to you on this video. Thank you very much. <laughs>